dreams. Also, be nice. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Was the original diss track. Every line is just devastating. There is no walking back from that song either. I'd steal Christmas too if I was the Grinch hearing them roast me. No, if I was the Grinch and they sang that song about me, just for being different and green, I'd set the whole village on fire. Just burn Whoville for being unconscionable to the Grinch. <laughs> Because I'm a mean one! Going great! Coming this yeah, <laughs> Alright, I think that intro is sufficiently stupid. <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here! And today is the second advent calendar day for one video a day for the rest of the year for one video a day Christmas! <laughs> and we're looking at illegal tweets. And I think we're just gonna get started because I don't know how to make short videos, so Let's go! Thanksgiving dinner 2080. Me has dementia. This turkey has big dick energy. My great grandson. Bro, what the f? Grandpa, no! <laughs> Hit me for real. OSHA, Occupational Health and Safety Inspector. Walking into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. What the f? Wonka, no! <laughs> Tarzan's last thought as he plummets to the jungle floor. I miss Vine. <laughs> Many people have been using the quarantine as a time to perfect their bread or coffee making skills. But I, personally, have taken this as an opportunity to make increasingly unsettling eggs. Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that looks like a pancake. <laughs> Me! Opening my secret Santa gift. Oh wow! An empire of dirt! Wonder who got me this? Johnny Cash. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Cash in the corner be like, and you can have it all. <laughs> it's so funny that one of Santa's reindeer is named Vixen. Imagine. Your name is John, and your brother's names are Jim, James, Hi! <laughs> Josh and Slut! <laughs> okay, but that's really a which came first kind of question, you know? <laughs> Vixen or Slut question, you know? <laughs> Putting these on a cruise ship is better than everything else. Heck burrito! <laughs> LED floors brings the beach to your door. Oh my- oh. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh no! No, no! I do not like this at all! Imagine you just came back from having drinks and you gotta find your way to your room and you're just like... <laughs> you're just riding the tide the whole way! <laughs> you're gonna cause so much damage. <laughs> Wife! We just ate. Why are you making pancakes? Me! They're for the dogs! Why are you making pancakes for the dogs? They don't know how. No, <laughs> that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> we love pancakes. <laughs> Speaking of pancakes, this will make a lot more sense if you watched yesterday's video. <laughs> it's a bit bigger than expected. Look at how big it is! They made me a stingray! Look at this! Wait, it's got little fins! <laughs> and then when everyone came over to the stream, bro? No? Oh, fun! <laughs> Get wrecked, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> we all decided to name our new, our new stingray friend and everyone picked pancake. And unless you can think of a better one right now, in the comments, right now, that's the name that's gonna stick, I think. <laughs> pancake. This is the art they be having on the side of those carnival rides. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> oh my God. Why is this so accurate? How have I never remembered all of those repressed memories of going to the carnival as a kid and seeing someone's barely disguised fetish on this painted on the side of all the rides? Oh my god. <laughs> I just overheard a woman say she uses her boyfriend's laptop to Google Christmas presents she wants so that he gets targeted ads. Communication in the digital age. A love story. Meanwhile, he's here like, why am I always getting recommended Sephora? Stop this. <laughs> I don't even wear makeup. <laughs> If you want something, you're gonna have to be way less subtle than all of the ads we always mentally block out when we see them. My friend. <laughs> the four stages of a day off or a snow day. Number one, I will do so much stuff. Later, I'll, I'll, I'll do lots of stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Eventually, I'll do some stuff. Oh no! Please help! My 
biology teacher asked what's the opposite of dominant, and I confidently answered submissive to the whole class. <sighs> Don't respond to this person. They have a humiliation kink. Bad. You okay, babe? You've barely touched the 184 birds I gave you over the course of the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> oh, God. Nine golden rings. Those are birds. <laughs> if you didn't know, the nine golden rings from that song, they're birds. A partridge is a bird. I'm pretty sure the pear tree is a bird. It's that scene in the office, but they weren't kidding at all. I thought it was an exaggeration. I was like, all right, that's a lot of geese, but I'll trust them. Please stop. <laughs> Even the professionals. It is reckless and illegal to give your true love any amount of wild birds for Christmas. <laughs> These are baby stingrays. They look like aliens stuck in ravioli. Help us. <laughs> Help us. Oh, I love their little feet. They're so cute. Pancake, look. <laughs> it's you as a baby. How can you not love stingrays? <laughs> Little alien raviolis. Is it true that this is the first line of the movie? My name is Doug. Doug Avatar. And I'm back to do more avataring. <laughs> Literally none of you can tell me whether or not this is even the first line in the original Avatar. Because none of you, zero of you remember that film. <laughs> Except... One of my best friends watches Avatar every single year, and it's his favorite film. And that might be one of the most unhinged things I learned this year. But he is an alien, so, you know, forgive him. <laughs> my theory is that trends come back every 20 years because people in their 30s go back and get the stuff they wanted as a kid. I mean, not 30s. <laughs> but also not no. <laughs> Also, shut up! <laughs> Bro! Just come skiing with me! Lift tickets cost 150 per day! And you can rent skis for another 50! And you can get a lesson for another 120! It's so fun! And your risk of injury is so high! Come on, bro! You won't feel your hands and you'll get sunburn on your face! Bro! <laughs> the angriest I've ever been in my life! Okay, sounds good! I fell asleep halfway into a Hallmark holiday movie, then woke up halfway through another it took me 30 minutes to notice. Oh wow, it's a high-powered executive woman leaving the big city to visit her snow village hometown where she meets the mysterious tree cutter woodsman, who is but a simple, humble woodcutting man, but only after completely disregarding his potential and date offer, completely does she learn that his last name is <gasps> Snow Village Hometown, and his ancestors forged the town out of trees he still cuts today, and he inherited his fortune, but is still humble about it, and now he's her soul mate and she's ready to quit her job <laughs> and if you take that same plot and swap the genders of multiple characters that's 80 percent of hallmark movies <laughs> hang on I, I saw a tiktok like this once <laughs> i'm pretty sure i liked it hang on let me see if i can find it two hours later i couldn't find the vague tiktok that i remember liking a while ago about hallmark movies but <laughs> i did find two other very similar ones that I did like recently. Me, if I was in a Christmas Hallmark. For some people, Christmas is the most magical time of the year. And for others, it's the best. Merry Christmas, Mr. Baker. You know damn well my bakery burnt down three months ago. Well, damn, Mr. Baker. Why don't you just be a Grinch about it? <laughs> Shouldn't have been singing those songs about the Grinch then, huh? <laughs> Whose fault is it really now, Mr. Baker? Merry Christmas, Mr. Neighbor. Stop breaking into my house. But with Sylvia Dimonoise. <laughs> <laughs> a big surprise was awaiting her. Hey, I'm sorry, you don't know me, but I just want a trip to Hawaii for two people, and I have nobody to take, and I just saw you, and I'm sorry, but I just have to ask. <laughs> Would you like to come with me? No, you're a stranger, and I don't want to get molested. But it's Hawaii. I don't want to get molested in Hawaii. <laughs> yes, so they cannot stop thinking about that offer. What offer? You want to go to Hawaii. But I don't want to go. Is what her brain said, but her heart said something different. You're going to Hawaii. <laughs> No choice. I can't believe you're actually coming with me. You're crazy. I didn't want- Just like that, <laughs> Sylvia's adventure was about to start. Sylvia, you're absolutely crazy. If you're gonna jump, aim for the darker water. That's where it's deeper. I'm actually aiming for the rock. Hey, look. It's mistletoe. Did you know that mistletoe is a parasite that takes away nutrients from trees, just like you're taking away my love for festivities and my will to live? But also, in paradise, there can sometimes be trouble. Sylvia, aren't you at least a bit happy that I brought you with me? I was kind of forced to go by this voice inside my head. Don't tell him about me or else. Okay. I had an awesome time with you, Sylvia. It's too bad it's already over. 
<laughs> She's so done. Merry Christmas, Sylvia. Shut up, your bakery's dead. Sylvia! <laughs> okay, that one did go wildly different, but... <laughs> I love Sylvia's TikToks. Oh, and I did see another one. Hang on. A rom-com in two minutes. I don't care about Christmas, Dave. It's all about business. I want to make money and have money. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry. I made you drop what you're holding. That's all right. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Carton. I'm from Business City. I'm Generica. Generica. <laughs> wow. Is it always so slowly around here? It's kind of just the pacing. Welcome to Townsville. People seem simpler here, like they have no drive and don't care about business. <laughs> what sound did you just make? Oh, it's called laughing. You should try it sometime. Your mouth, it, it's going up at the sides. What, what's that? Oh, my curly mouth. It's stupid and ugly. I think it's one of the neatest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm getting a phone call right now. It's probably about business. The neatest things. I have things. to take this, but will you wait? I'll try. Dave, enough about business for a second. Listen to me. <laughs> I just met somebody. I know that I already have a somebody, Dave, but this <gasps> somebody seems better. I'm gonna ditch that other somebody and I'm gonna go with this new somebody. I don't think I'm a- That's the part that breaks my mind every time. How do they think these relationships are gonna last long term? If they're- if the person they're gonna hook up with now literally just left someone else to be with them, <laughs> they hop from relationship to relationship to keep that security, and they're doing it over the holidays, a place that they're visiting too. They don't even live there. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I don't think I'm a businessman anymore. My life moves slowly now. <laughs> I have to go before she hears any of this. <gasps> Secrets and lying? I heard every single damn word. <laughs> Generica, wait. You already got another one? Oh! Yes, I already have one, but you're a better one. <laughs> what are your eyes doing? They, they're becoming thick with wet. <gasps> what is emotions? It's sad, and you wouldn't <laughs> understand. This is just what I needed. Another carton coming in from Business City to turn my life into 180. Generica. You don't gotta explain anything. You have another one, and she's probably got a big set of big bouncers that you have to grease up and rub around. There's nothing for you here. Listen, bumping into you three minutes ago changed my life. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Because I like the way that your mouth goes up at the sides, and I love the way that your eyes get wet when you're, when you're sad. You remembered. <laughs> and I love that your name sounds like it's three names just sort of jammed together. <laughs> when you meet the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with, you want your life to start, like, right at that time. Shut up. <laughs> just shut up. <laughs> you had me at just at the last thing you said. <laughs> I didn't really understand the rest. Do you think my baby is okay? Oh my god, I... I hope so. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, at the very beginning. At the very beginning, she was Christmas holding a baby. It's all about business. I want to make money and have money. Oh, I'm so sorry. I made you drop what you were holding. That's all right. I... Oh, no. Oh, 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 actually, the baby's fine. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> My cousin stuffed her turkey and put it in her oven, which is not turned on, with the intention to store it there overnight rather than the fridge. There's no room. This is why you can't eat just anybody's food. This time tomorrow, that whole household will be in the ER. The story of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, little puppy. It, oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, little puppy, come back! Oh no! <laughs> it's like all of us trying to have conversations with our family in the holidays. Oh yeah, no, it's great to see you, Grandma. Oh, oh, Uncle J- Oh, 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 you're all here. Yay, okay, bye! <laughs> yeah, of course I can paint your ceiling! Michelangelo scoffed to himself. <laughs> Gonna paint a bunch of dudes with they d out, though. <laughs> He did do that. <laughs> this year, let's not lose sight of the true meaning of Christmas. Accepting the fact that your family has no idea who you are or what you enjoy. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. 
Everything, the socks included. It's just all covered in stingrays. W wow, how did you know? <laughs> I'm just kidding, my family knows me pretty well. <laughs> no ice, no stir, no glass. We're redefining how whiskey can be enjoyed. Introducing the Glen Livet Capsule Collection. No glass required. Um, guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but teens are gonna put this in their butts. <laughs> yeah. Teens. <laughs> All of the adults in the room going for Christmas concerts or boring church events this season are just, uh, there's back and away all with shifty eyes right now. <laughs> this is the best text from an ex anyone has ever gotten. Dinosaurs, consider yourselves avenged. A Japanese spacecraft has landed on an asteroid and fired a bullet into it. <laughs> I saw your stupid tweet on Facebook. Glad you're alive, I guess. Don't text me back. I'm in a relationship. <laughs> World record holding for rent free. <laughs> Interviewer one. Describe yourself in one word. Me. <laughs> Hired. Interviewer two. Oh, oh my. Holy sh Can she do that? Oh my god! Shaking my head in the mall. Who would build a bear into this world right now? Anyone who names a reindeer vixen is those reindeer. Santa, no! <laughs> Santa came early this year. <laughs> it's gonna be a white Christmas. <laughs> My favorite kid I ever taught when I was a swim teacher was this little four-year-old Italian boy. One time he sneezed and nobody said anything, so he went, What? Uh, no bless yous for Giacomo? This should be illegal. <laughs> For anyone who has something to say up, 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 the opposite this, this is like someone sells you a keyboard and your last keyboard had a completely different keyboard arrangement. And then every keyboard after that, depending on which company you buy from, has a different keyboard function operationals, has a different arrangement of the keys going forwards. Madness! <laughs> Making the jump button anything but the top button should be illegal. <sighs> this is the most disgusting tweet I've ever seen. The orange juice after toothpaste of tweets. Practically every other mammal hides and sleeps through the winter, while man, in all their wisdom and pomposity, decided to uphold summer productivity standards. And now, if I, the mammal that I am, fall short, it's deemed seasonal affective disorder. It's f up. Now, there are like a thousand Christmas songs, but only one song about the boys being back in town. I have never heard of Elf on the Shelf in my entire life until three years ago. Where the hell did it come from? This is no tradition. This is a psyop. The first time I saw that format, you've heard of Elf on the Shelf, now get ready for... I thought, no, I absolutely have not heard of Elf on the Shelf. Absolute demons. <laughs> Do not invite Elf in the Shelf into your home. Do you see what he gets up to at nighttime? Terrifying. Why parents would want one of those? For their children, I might add. I'll never know. And there I was, at 21, broken that I'd never hear my sister laugh again. I held her limp hand, my eyes playing cruel tricks as I swore I saw her breathe. In that moment, all I could think about was the lava cake we'd bake together. For this recipe, you'll need a double boiler. Ah! <laughs> Every time! Stop it! Me! Brutally murdered in Minecraft and found dumped on the side of the highway. Two 35-year-old women with a podcast. <laughs> Okay, murder muffins, we got a real oopy goopy spoopy story for you today. Squarespace head, are you looking to expand your- <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I have found the book. You know, the one that you read when you were 13 and barely remember anything about, but then spent like 20 years on a holy quest to find said book just to prove that it actually exists. It exists. <laughs> God, I remember this book that my grandmother read me once about these aliens who popped into a kid's bedroom and decided to shrink him down for hijinks or whatever. And the only member of the crew I can remember is the science officer who was a lizard, maybe, but also stated that they weren't male or female, but a third gender. And I remember accepting it without a single question in my mind and without imploding. And I think about that every time I see someone says their children would literally die if they learned about anything outside of the binary. So does anyone 
know the name of that book? <laughs> I was like five. My husband let the dog outside, watched out the window to make sure he was out of ear range, then turned to me and whispered, I got him a new chew rope for Christmas. <laughs> I hope to one day find someone who loves me as much as my husband loves the dog. Oh, <laughs> you idiot. Your husband loves you this much to share his super secret surprise for the dog with you. The biblical flood was bad for any non-arc based land animals, as well as all freshwater flora and fauna, but it would have been an incredible boon for all ocean dwelling creatures, perhaps even showing favoritism. Have we considered the possibility that God may be an octopus? Well, God's either an octopus or a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> my friends babies are all learning how to escape their baby gates at the same time. So my Instagram stories is like watching a movie about a baby uprising. <laughs> Planet of the babies. My my son got a face tat. Go ahead and bottle feed. It doesn't matter. The clearest image of Jupiter ever taken. Very crisp image. I can practically see the institute where I studied how to get stupider. <laughs> <laughs> I apologized to the TSA agent for the abundance of pancake mix in my luggage. And he said, never apologize for being who you are. Aww, pancake, look, it's you. <laughs> Some founder cornered me at a party recently. Do you feel bad for eating octopus? I confessed I didn't. Well, you should. They're super smart animals. Anyway, we have bred an octopus that's like literally dumb. You can eat it guilt free. I was left speechless. Oh my god, Pancake, look away. <laughs> Read a tweet that simply said, Call your mum and tell you you love her. Thought I'd give it a go. Dad called me back 10 minutes after I got off the phone and said, Mum's crying. She thinks you're dying and won't tell her. Thanks, Twitter. <laughs> oh, you don't want to sit at the kids' table because you're a grown-up? Not me. I'm going to take an edible before dinner. You think I want to discuss politics and inflation? I want to talk about Bluey and what dinosaur is the coolest. But have fun with the adults, I guess. Sure, I could listen to my aunt talk about finding herself after her divorce. Or I could see my baby cousin's cool rock he found at school. Gonna drink that sparkling apple juice all while the grown-ups pretend that wine actually tastes good and not like if raisins wanted attention. At my maid's wedding, someone said his sister was pregnant. Being a bit drunk, I rubbed her belly and congratulated her. <gasps> I forgot he had another sister. After deciding not to game over myself, I approached his other sister and repeated the above. I also forgot he had a third sister. Oh no! <laughs> You're done. <laughs> you, you gotta move, burn your passport, move to another town. You're a whole new person now, okay? <laughs> All right, my birdies and weirdos, that's it for today's video. Hopefully it's gonna come out today because I'm doing one video a day for the rest of Christmas. For the year, actually. <laughs> I gotta think of a slogan. Somebody help me, it's advent calendar, video a day for Christmas for the rest of the year. Help me condense that. <laughs> All right, my birdies and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that out. Did you think of a better name than Pancake? You didn't, right? <laughs> Boop. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. There's the intro. Mr. Grinch. <laughs>